Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, we will learn pipe slope, pipe rotation, how to calculate the slope between two pipe supports, etc. As you look at the north direction of a drawing, the back of your head is to the south, your right hand to the east, and your left hand to the west direction. Have a look at the material list. Item number 1 is 8 inch, 40 schedule pipe. Item number 2 is a sacolet. The size is 1 inch. Item number 3 is 8 inch, long radius elbow. The quantity is 7 numbers. See the starting elevation of the piping. E stands for east direction, and N stands for north, what is GL? GL is ground level. In some drawings, you will see EL. EL stands for elevation. And sometimes PN, PE, COP, etc. are given. According to the symbol, the line slopes towards the south. Let us check the slope of this particular part of this piping. This is the higher point. And this is the lower point. 10,784 minus 10,755 equals 29 millimeters. Let us check with the slope ratio 1 east to 74. Divide 2141 by 74. The answer is 29 millimeters. I hope you learned two methods to calculate the slope of a pipe. Now, the pipe turns to the west. Note that, in this portion, the pipe's elevation is the same, there is no slope. You can download this drawing. The link is given in the description. The pipe now turns to the south direction. See, the slope here is 1 is to 200, the previous slope was 1 is to 74. See the slope here. When you prepare to fabricate a pipe spool, go through each and every detail before starting the job. Unless, mistakes may happen. The vertical shade says, the line turns in the down direction. Since the set and the run are different, you can guess that this is not a 45 degree turn. Here, the slope ratio is 1 is to 200. Can you tell the slope for a 6,000 mm long pipe, basing this ratio? 6,000 divided by 200 is equal to 30 millimeters. Thank you for watching. Please comment. 